Flex Atenosynovitis. Hello friends, my name is Dr. Kiran Nakar. I am a plastic and hand surgeon practicing in Nashik, India. Today we are going to watch how to deal surgically with infective flexor tenosynovitis. It is an infection involving flexor tendon sheath. This 50-year diabetic male presented to us with history of pricking injury in area in his right palm corresponding to middle finger ray. He had all classical Conovell's cardinal signs of flexor tenosynovitis. Finger held in, slight flexion position of comfort, fusiform swelling of the digit, tenderness along flexor tendon sheath, pain of passive stretching extension. Since he was having intense pain since last evening, we decided to take him to operation theater as early as possible. He was operated under axillary block and arm tourniquet control. Tourniquet was raised after exsanguinating the limb. Incision taken with number 15 blade in palmar crease. After initial gentle spreading of tissues with blade under magnification, flexor sheath was visualized and dissected with tonotomy scissors, Frank Pass came out immediately. Tendon sheath is then washed out with normal saline under gentle pressure to clear out all infective material. Proximal palmar space also needs to be irrigated as these are in continuation with the flexor tendon sheath. It is preferable to open the tendon sheath distally and irrigate the sheath in distal to proximal manner, it ensures complete clearance. Once wash effluent is clear enough, tourniquet was then released. Gentle compressive dressing done. Arm was kept elevated postoperatively. We started him an injection Cefarchem 1 GM IV twice a day in injection linezolid 600 mg twice a day for 3 days, and then switched over to oral antibiotics. Here are the results after 2 weeks, finger and hand swelling is completely disappeared, finger is freely mobile, without any restrictions. We can even notice the changes in the dorsum of the hand edema as well as erythema is completely gone. Thank you for watching.